and uh, uh, as the disk increases mpg is falling down now let's uh, fit this model and uh, let's uh, uh, store that model in the name uh, object model lm is the function which is being used for linear regression mpg is the response variable and disk is the predictor variable and this is still i which you want to write this is the syntax and data is the data df which is uh, here which we have stored this whole data in the df object if you if you do like that you the model has been fitted like right now so what we have done is we have seen here mpg is falling down as the disk is increasing and what we are intending to do here is we want to uh, we want to fit some line which is trying to predict the mpg on the basis of disk so let's see how this model has been fit see uh, like if we write as ab line so what i was saying is it just uh, so ab line model if you do like this you see that we have fitted successfully one model to this data and then this data what we are doing is we are uh, predicting mpg on the basis of disk this is just a simple linear regression regression is because we we are predicting the mpg variable which is very continuous and we can see the data points are all across this range between 10 to 10 to 40 and this continuous variable has been predicted on the basis of disk which is varying from 0 to 500. We could have seen that initially that the pattern is something falling downside as the disk and we are trying to fit a simple linear regression model and we have fitted this. We can see that this line is going in the middle which is saying like finding the best fit on the basis of the mean value at each point like say in this disk value we have two data points like this and this right so it will take the mean value or something like that and it will just go take this value. at this point what it is doing is it is taking all these three values and finding the middle value some mean point at this value again it is trying to find some middle value like all these values it is trying to fit a line right a line which is taking ex trying to explain the maximum of the easy kind of variations of course this line cannot go through all the points because if it is going through all the points then that will not be a straight line so we have to fit a straight line so it's not possible to for a line to go through all the points a line might have gone through two or three points or four points but cannot go to all the points because so much of variation is there across this line uh, so it is trying to fit a best line based on the optimization of this model uh, so that the what it is trying to minimize that's the thing which we we should know see at this date at this point we have uh, actual value as this or this but the predicted variable is predicted value is this so error is this and this right at this point what we have only one data point actual value is this predicted value is this so there is of course some error in prediction what we want to do is we want to minimize these errors and this line is actually minimizing the errors if we have if we would have fitted this line instead of here we would have fitted line here then the errors would have been increased instead of this line we would have gone through here again the errors might have increased so there are so many of options available but this is the best fit which the model has tried to optimize on the basis of the errors tries to minimize the errors so what it is doing is it takes the error at each data point like this 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 these are errors these are positive errors because actual minus predicted these are negative errors like actual 
minus predicted because the predicted is large so this is negative errors this is positive errors so if we just add all these errors then that is uh, positive errors and negative errors will be cancelled but no negative errors is also an error so if it is being added to the positive error that should not be decreasing the total error instead that should be increasing because anyhow positive or negative both are errors so what we do is we square them so we square all the errors and then we add it but since we are interested in the errors we should square root again so what we do we first find the errors at each of the data points then we square it all the data points uh, errors then we add them and then we square root so that we get the dimensions of errors that is called root mean squared error root mean a squared error that is rmsc that is the metric used for optimization of the linear regression so this is the simple linear regression right now instead of fitting this mpg on the basis of just displacement we could have also done like this let's copy and then okay sorry let's copy and then paste again and instead of just this we are just adding one more or two more variables hp and weight we can write like this this plus hp plus weight predicting mpg as a basis of this now model is like this now if we uh, write summary check the summary how to see the summary let's see here the summary of the model is showing like call is like this the same thing which we wrote above residuals residuals are the errors nothing like the errors which i told explained you minimum error is negative minus i told these are negative errors and positive errors are 0.5.8 coefficients are like intercept intercept is what this is the intercept if you see the plot this is called intercept intercept around 28 or something like that all right uh, why interest uh, just a moment yeah so this is the intercept not for uh, this plot because this plot was for only for this this uh, intercept is for mpg as a function of disp and hp and weight so this is in four dimensional uh, uh, this is in uh, four dimensional space right initially it was only a one dimensional uh, like a disp is uh, uh, mpg is as a function of disp now it is as a function of three variables so there are total four variables one variable is mpg and other the three variables which are the predictor variables but this is the intercept similar to this one dimensional case this is the intercept for the one dimensional case and this is the uh, intercept in the four dimensional space what it is uh, what it is like a uh, standard error it is telling that what is the errors in this estimate because see instead of just fitting this line we could have fitted a little above a little lower that would have also given me some kind of uh, explanation of the variance so there are different estimates like intercept could be like this much or could be like this much depending on the lines fitted right so we have some kind of variation in the estimates also so this is the variation the standard error and then what we try to do is we find the mean value of the estimate and then try to see how far this estimate is going from the mean value if it is going too far from the mean value then it is it is a signal it is so how we calculate this t value i will explain you say consider the estimate for the disk it is minus 0 0.00937 had this estimate be zero exactly zero then the coefficient for the displacement will be zero right what we try to see is if the coefficient these estimates are far away from zero or not so what we do is we subtract from zero like 37 minus zero divided by this standard error will be giving this t value so if these estimates are far away from the zero value 
then that means it is significant value so like this it is almost zero what we try to do is divide by this is uh, this minus zero divided by standard error that gives t value and t value is very small so p these are called p values p values should be very very small so p values are calculated on the base of t value the t value is very high that means the estimates are very far away from zero much deviated from zero and that should be the case because the as we want some estimates which are not exactly zero but different from zero because the, if the estimates are zero that means the coefficients of that variables are zero and if they are zero then that means the model is not using the, them as a predictor variable so instead of getting this exact values of estimates we try to find the p value based on the t value and t value is found from these estimates and the standard errors so we take this estimate subtract it from zero divided by this standard error we get the t value and the t value is very large your p value will be very less so this is the whole process instead of uh, this is the statistics behind this but what we uh, can exactly see instead of uh, these are the coefficients we can see and we can see the p values so the p values are very uh, very small that means this variable is significant so intercept is very significant it is shown by a star also that is very very significant then this variable is also significant then this variable is also significant this is the highest significant variable then this is the second most and this is the third most and this is not significant at all because the p value is almost 1 right it is 0.92 so this is not a significant variable why it is not a significant variable because it might be of various reasons uh, because uh, this uh, this may be correlated with one of the these variables or it could be that there is no relationship between the mpg and disp which can be explained by the linear relation so this is the uh, explanation for all these variables their estimates their standard errors and t value and the t value should be high and the p value should be small these stars show the significance of the variables now what we see that these are the quotes uh, shown uh, four, uh, three star means very significant two star le lesser significant than this more lesser significant and no star means that it's not significant very well. residual standard error is shown and a multiple r square that means that is explaining the how much of the variance is being explained by the variance uh, by the variables 82.6 percent of the variance has been explained by this model adjusted r squared should be lesser because it is telling about if, if we add one more variable has this at multiple r squared decreased uh, increased or not so it is telling that so adjusted r squared should be lesser right uh, now this this is f statistics that is used for uh, judging about this model whether it has uh, improved or not whether this model is significant or not these uh, these p values for uh, finding the significance of these variables in the model and this f statistics is being used for finding the uh, significance of this uh, whole model and the p value of this whole model is 8.65 minus 0. so this p value is also very small that means the model is significant you can say this from the FS statistics that the model is significant. Also from the multiple R squared, we can say that 80.68% of variance has been explained. And from these stars, we can say that these variables are important. We, we can remove the disk variable from the model by just fitting again the same model by LM, MPG, removing the disk and just writing HP and WT. So I hope that you got very very basic understanding of all those things. Might be there uh, are some uh, errors which uh, I might have told uh, while discussing. Sorry for that, but you could check it, uh, uh, double check everything. And uh, but I am sure that you would have by now you would have got the best and a very good understanding of what is machine learning. If you're just a beginner, beginner and wanted to know that what we are doing in machine learning. So this is just a basic uh, algorithm which you could uh, start with and start to know about how to learn uh, this uh, machine learning. Just take one uh, algorithm like linear regression, try to understand the statistics behind it 
and then you will understand all the things so it's not a one day thing that you get to know everything on in one day it's a trial and error thing you just keep on doing keep on doing read the theory do the practicals like this and then if you stuck at some point you're not getting something just read the theory again and you will learn it so thanks for watching this video and uh, uh, you are all. Uh, you are always welcome to uh, comment uh, and like and subscribe. So thanks for watching. Thank you. Bye bye.